Hey guys, it's me Daisy, and today's video is going to be how I make my cookbook with thumbnails. So obviously, first things first, you're going to want to go and either to the movie studio or in a house with a green screen and just, you know, take a screenshot of your character and props. So as you can see right now, I'm grabbing some props and now I'm back at the house. So I'm going to move everything out of the way and just take screenshot, put on the emotion and go ahead and take your screenshot and you can crop it or whatever. So here I am cropping it. But you can always crop it afterwards. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take pictures of the props that I'm using. So as you can see here, I have a camera, a microphone, and a laptop. So I'm just taking some screenshots and cropping them later. And so now I'm gonna show you that I have this sunray picture. I also have these marks, um, which you'll see in a second, right here. And all this stuff I got from Pixar. So if you don't know how to do it, here's how. Just open a blank page and go to stickers and search up whatever you want on there. And yeah, so I'm just kind of searching up what I want right now and putting it in. But the thing is, you can't see on a screen recording and I didn't realize that, but I am. This is all you really have to do. Just search it up and put it in and save it. So now we're going to go to um, get in screenshot a background. So I'm going in the office and I'm going to screenshot this area right here. So now what you're going to do is open 9 by 16 on IBS Paint. And once you do that, just put your background image and just kind of adjust it. And what I like to do is I like to blur it. Um, I don't really know why I just like to then put your character in go to selection layer and click bucket now you just need to use the bucket on the edges of the area and then erase the background when you go on your layer so now you're going to go to effects go stroke and then if there's any errors like there was for me you can just go erase or you know if some area got missed out you can always just go add that in with a white brush it worked the same at one point my stroke would never work so i would have to do the whole background i mean the whole like stroke on my own but it was really just on like the bottom part of the character so i did that and then i went to drop shadow i accidentally clicked um back again but so now i'm just doing drop shadow and now I'm doing shadow around the character. So I just do around the face, the hair, um, the neck, and like one side of the character. And then also one side of the accessory. Uh, I didn't want to do it on the pen because I didn't think that would fit. So now I'm just uh, doing like a little touch up and highlights, which are pretty easy. You just kind of draw a line and a dot, kind of like an exclamation mark. And now I'm doing some more highlights. I just like the way this looks. I, I don't really know why. Now I'm doing blush using the airbrush and red. And so now I'm going to go add in my camera and I'm just going to repeat the same process that I did with the character so that you can easily um, see what I'm doing again if you didn't see it the first time. So yeah, I'm just kind of going on to, uh, now I'm moving on to the laptop, which is the third prop. And it's really the same process. You just select the background with bucket and then go on the original layer and erase the background. So now that I put all that in, I'm gonna do their stroke and drop shadow just like I did with the character. And I'll do the rest of the shadows later for this. Now I'm gonna add in the icons of what I use in my thumbnails. So IBS Paint and Pixar. So I'm just adding them in, trying to figure out where to put them. And now I forgot to put the sun rays in, but you put them in and you try to make them go around your character and then just move them to the second last layer other than the background then i made a mistake of putting the marks i wasn't supposed to put marks on this thumbnail um or at least not on that spot but anyway now i'm doing shadows as you can see and i'm doing the drop shadow and stroke for the app icons and now i'm going to move on to the text so the fonts i like to use are chicken pie height and mufiara demo version so here is me doing chicken pie height and then you can see why i messed up with the marks so now i have to do the shadows again and the stroke and drop shadow of the app icons again but that's okay it's fine it's not a big deal so yeah now i'm just doing that 
and I'm adding in both of the fonts and I'm putting them where I want them. So now what I'm doing is I'm going on to a new layer on top and then going on to my selection layer, aka using the uh, like magic wand, but it wasn't working. So I went to selection layer and used bucket again, and then I went back to my layer. And so now I'm just kind of doing an ombre gradient thing just to give it a little bit more contrast than just a plain color. And this is a very, um, it, it takes a while, but now you have to add highlights to every letter. And I like to do this like on my own because I don't really like think like using a highlighting like font or something like that. I, I just like to do it myself. It's not a big deal. And yeah, it's, it's not that hard. It's just drawing explanation marks. And so now I'm just repeating the same thing with the bottom text, but I have to do a stroke first. And doesn't that just look so much better? I, I don't know. I think it looks so nice, and I really like the way it looks. So that's why it pays off in the end to do this really tedious process. So now I'm doing the highlights for the bottom text. And it's just really easy, really simple, just lines. So literally, that's it. Um, it's not hard to do, but it just takes a little bit, especially if you have a lot of text. So then I go and do stroke on the text again, and then I'm going to merge the layers and then do drop shadow. And there you go, guys. We have the complete thumbnail. Subscribe! <laughs>